Hello, everybody. I'm so happy uh, to be with our new guest this week. I'm Dr. Elsie Coe, who is founder and CEO of Lead Physician. Today, we're going to be talking to Daniel Kessler, a physician who's from sunny Florida. Thank you for being here, Daniel. Thank you so much, Elsie. It's so nice to be here today. Yes, thank you. We are going to be talking about him. He is a leader. He's the founder of Caden Institute, and he's double board certified in family medicine from the Mayo Clinic and also in integrative holistic medicine. That makes him very, very unique. He has, uh, his, his roots are from Europe. He grew up in Germany, but he's been in the United States for over 25 years now. And Daniel, please correct me if any of this is wrong, please. No, you're doing comes, great. <laughs> <laughs> he comes in an area, from an area where functional medicine is really is deep seated and it's the largest functional medicine clinics are. And this is so interesting to me that I'm so happy to be talking to him today because I've not met anybody, someone like you before. And because uh, he brings family, this functional medicine to people like you and me in medicine where we can uh, incorporate that into our existing practices. Is that right? Daniel? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah, so, spot on. Yeah, so let's just, before we get into uh, the integrative uh, medicine component, I just wanna ask you, the subject is leadership. So what is leadership? What does leadership mean to you as a physician? Yeah, I think leadership um, has many definitions. I think all of us have our own definition, but what I always have suggested is that we have to be a leader for ourselves first. That's very important. And then we have to also lead those around us that we can lift up. So leadership ourselves, meaning also to respect yourself, have self-respect, have very high standards and values, make sure also health-wise, especially right now with this crazy pandemic, that we don't forget our own health, and this way, as you know, when we're strong, we can then also portray that to our family and also to our patients who need us most during this time. That's great. And how has your leadership style changed because of the uh, pandemic? Yeah, I think that one of the things we'll talk about uh, towards the end of the video is also an acronym that, that I call FIND and uh, flexibility. So the F stands for flexibility. It's really key. What makes us so unique as doctors is that we're always born leaders and that we are accustomed to being flexible in any situation. And we have the um, ability to adapt you know, to these trying times. So for me specifically with functional medicine, I've been able to have telemedicine experience for many, many years already. Um, and nowadays um, what I've done, um, other than working in urgent care, I've also now helped out in telemedicine helping out across the nation because so many people need help. So you know what, since you brought that up, tell us exactly how functional medicine can help practices, physician practices right now. What is it different? What's different about it? I, I think that, so with Caden Institute, the goal was also not just to provide um, functional medicine to patients, but also to actually help practitioners to be very adaptive and provide them additional tools um, over the years, I've had various practitioners go through the program that we offer, and it allows them to actually practice virtually from home, um, even before this whole pandemic happened. And it really provides um, additional resources, also additional income, either from a cash-based practice or even a lot of us are familiar with uh, DPC, direct primary care. Um, and ultimately, you know, where you really listen to the patient, what's really going on, and then you also have solid tools where you can then test to really dig you know, to those roots and really find out what's going on with your patients. And that's one of the benefits that functional medicine has to offer. And, and that's what you teach in your courses, not only how to do that, but how to actually do the business side of it? Yeah, so um, specifically, you know, I was very fortunate to have grown up in one of the largest clinics in functional medicine in Germany, in Northern Europe. And now I've taken, I was one of the first people in the United States to be certified through the Institute for Functional Medicine. And my goal with the Caden Institute was to have a program that is very much focused on applicability so that people, even if you have no, in, no, um, no background in functional medicine, where I actually mentor you as a physician, as a provider, and show you step-by-step, step, this is what you do clinically. 
And also this is what you do from a business standpoint, because ultimately that's also very important. That sounds really interesting. Thank you. Um, what, so just just to end this, and how do people reach out to you if they're interested in, in learning more about how they can incorporate that into their practice? Of course. So you can go to the website. It's called www.kaden, K-A-D-A-N, institute.com. And you can also email us here at info, I-N-F-O, at kadeninstitute.com. Be happy to share more information with you. That's awesome. And uh, to conclude, can you just share with us some recommendations that you have for physicians who want to be more involved in leadership right now? Of course. So, you know, I think a lot of people remember stories the best. A lot of people remember acronyms the best. And one of the acronyms that has been very helpful over the years is an acronym called FIND. So F-I-N-D, where the F stands for flexibility, especially during fearful times, um, being innovative, coming up with new solutions to also illuminate the darkness that surrounds us during those fearful times. Um, the N is for navigate, have somebody who's actually been there who can actually show people how this is possible. And then D, actually make a decision to become a leader, not just yourself, but also for those people around you and ultimately depend on that and put those actions, um, you, know, you know, start those actions and then be consistent with them. So that has been very, very helpful. You know what, I, I bet you incorporate that into your teaching as well. And I think it's awesome. I mean, I, I highly, I totally resonate with that acronym that you've come up with. Thank you so much for sharing with us of today course. and for being us on, on this brief uh, moment in time. But if anyone's interested in, please reach out to uh, Caden Institute, okay, dot com. And thank you guys for listening and stay tuned for more and the next uh, Sundays to come. Thank you so much, Elsie. Have a good day. Bye, guys. Okay, take care. Bye. Bye.